Hi, this is David. Sonic Pi offers a load of samples, drums, loops, effects, and so on, but it can play other samples as well. If you want to use your own samples, you have to tell Sonic Pi where they are, and that is as simple as taking the folder with your samples and dragging it into Sonic Pi. The path to that folder is now at your cursor as a string, and the sample function can use that to find the samples. To keep the code clean, I save the path to a variable and feed that to the sample function. If you just run the code like this, Sonic Pi will play the first sample in that folder. You can add an index to specify which sample to play. If you want to use random samples, replace the index with pick. But if you have many samples in that folder, it will be hard to memorize. So in addition to an index, you can use filter strings. And now the index goes through the samples that contain the filter string in their file name. If there is no match to the filters, no sample will play. And that is how to use external samples in Sonic Pi. If you like this video, leave it a like and subscribe. And if you really like what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching.